Hey everybody, welcome back. This week we're on an island with 365 ultra white sand beaches. That's right, you could visit one on every day of the year and not hit the same one twice. But what's a beach without epic crystal blue water to cool down in and vibrant green hills to explore? This nature's paradise looks like it's gonna be our kind of place. Welcome to beautiful Antigua. Like so many Caribbean islands, Antigua has a vast history. We couldn't wait to dive right into it. To make the discovery of this island even more special, we were treated to a private tour by family friends. It was such an amazing way to see the island through their eyes and get all the local lore along the way. As we traveled across the east coast of the island, we came across the famous Devil's Bridge, a geological natural arch carved by the sea from soft and hard limestone. Unfortunately, the history of Devil's Bridge is shrouded in tragedy. It's said to be a place where enslaved Africans would go to commit suicide in their final efforts to escape the horrors of slavery. The raging current from the Atlantic would deliver their bodies back to the cherished homeland, as there's no landmass between there and the west coast of Africa. Like being on the moon here. This has been a super special day. It really has, wow. Very grateful. Yes. These ladies have been just amazing. We have had the most amazing experience. Wow. Our day was filled by connecting to so many people in the community, learning about the rich culture of Antigua and touring this beautiful Caribbean island. Donna and her family were so welcoming and we couldn't have wished for better tour guides and new friends. So there's something you never see on Hanu. <laughs> you know, it's so weird dragging the dinghy behind us right now, but we're literally going around one little outcrop into a, a bay right next door. It'll be a little smoother, a little more private, I think, so we were like, oh, let's just tell it. This is the first. <laughs> Maybe the second time we've done this. It's weird, though. Why is it weird? It's so noisy. It is noisy. It's so loud. We never did it, so it's just, it's just weird. It's weird. But, so we were over there in Jolly and we're just going around these little itty bitty islands here to go back in this bay right here, which is called Five Islands. And this water, it's so nice. Super clear. This is the clearest water we've been in since we've gotten to Antigua. Yeah, nice. So we're gonna have a little charcuterie picnic and have a swim and just chill on the beach. Sounds good. This is it. This is exactly why we've created this lifestyle. We're back to the time of exploring, slowing down, and taking in the world around us. To be grateful for today and all that we're able to do. This is our happy place. We are sun-loving beach people, and it's so nice to have the time, however fleeting, to get recentered. We're going to attempt this hike thing again. <laughs> Last one was a major bust. One of the roughest dinghy rides 
we've had in a long time. We've seen the, an old ruins of a uh, sugar mill down here, so we want to see if we can hopefully find a trail that goes through the woods to get to it. Unfortunately, our hike was a bust. It uh, didn't go so well. <laughs> we tried to get on the shore, and with the, the fetch going across, it's not that windy on this side. That side's really windy. Uh, we couldn't get close enough to where the actual trailhead starts, and it's just dense, dense bush. And we tried walking in a bunch of spots, stabbed fingers and scratched backs. And... Uh, but there's another sugar mill just up the way here, so we figured we'd try and give that a go. It looks like there's a trail in there, we're not sure. There's a sign for a trail start, so we're hoping that's the one. But we are actually being grown-ups today, and baby, what are you doing? Putting on appropriate footwear. <laughs> We're the worst for wearing flip-flops, but this trail looks like it's going to be a bit rugged. So, we, we remember... Hike, hiking flops on. Which are much better than flip-flops. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, grippers. <laughs> Let's see if this one works out. Pretty overcast today. We're expecting a big storm tonight, so we thought we better get off the boat before that happens. And we found this cool hike through the, the jungle or bush here, and it's pretty cool actually. It's beautiful. Look at this. I'm on spider clearing duty. <laughs> yeah, you are. We're here. Over, but we made it. We made it. We're here. Let's see if we can get into this sucker. Wow. This is one of more than 100 windmill bases existent on the island today. These mills would be fed sugarcane stalks day and night and could crush about two acres a day based on the wind power. The juice would then drip into tanks beneath the mill and later be piped underground to the boiling house. Antigua was said to be one of the largest sugar producers in all of the Caribbean. Sucks, I wanna go climb up some of these little offshoots here. There's some really cool looking rock bluffs and stuff, but I'm really nervous with my shoulders to overdo it. We were just debating, we went up this little side trail, but yeah, there was some bouldering, bouldering or scrambling you'd have to do. And I'm like, oh, it's a bad I, decision. it is. I don't want to put myself in a position where I got to hang the weight of my body off my weak little shoulders right now. So we turned that one down. We'll just keep hiking along here. The crazy thing about this trail is there are cactus everywhere so you have to be really careful about what you're grabbing and where you're walking because they've even broken and they've fallen into the trail so it's a lot of fun don't touch the cactus time for some elevation so the curiosity finally got the better of us and we couldn't take it anymore bum shoulders or not we had to take one of the off trails and see where it led to maybe this wasn't the best option but we went for it anyway Okay, what do you think of this? It's good. It's uh, it's quite the end to the climb. I can't believe uh, you're actually up there. Me either, between my shoulders and my deathly fear of heights, I can't believe I'm up here either. I can tell you I'm not leaving this rock for a little while though. <laughs> It'll be good. Oh, there's not a lot of forgiveness you slide on this, but be really careful, baby. I 
Okay, come on up. Ready? Yeah. Uh, it's an absolutely amazing view up here. Look at Looks like the trail carries along that way to go up to the top of the mountain. But I think this is going to be our summit. So we're going to take a quick water break and then slowly make our way down the hill. How are you doing, baby? <laughs> How's your heart rate? Uh, I want to go down. Okay, here we go. And there is Hani right out there. You did it! Oh my god, what a trip that was. We are so sweaty right now. And dirty, covered and with dirty. ants. And, oh, our shoes are a mess, our, everything's a mess. But, it was an awesome hike and I'm so glad we did it. Let's go for a swim. Yeah. There's our That's mountain. our mountain. Climbed all the way up there. Such a pretty day. We have had a heck of a night here on Hanu. There was a storm that rolled through that we were expecting. There was going to be some uh, lightning and rain and a bit of wind, but it's just turned into this massive swell that just won't quit. It's unbelievable. And we're rocking. <laughs> we're rocking real good. And the best part of it is last night around 2 o'clock, my Elancro alarm starts going off and it wouldn't stop going off. So there's something wrong with the GPS in our uh, tablet. But check this out. It is just a rock and roll machine over here. There she goes. And then we're gonna go in two seconds. Woo, that's a ride, my friends. These are the times when I wish we had a catamaran. Although the cats are rocking and rolling pretty good too, so. Oh my God, this is awful. So the decision has been made. <laughs> we need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh my god, it is so rocky and rolly. I think there's about 10 boats now that have hightailed it out of here to get to a nicer spot. This is just insane. So luckily we are in a bay that there's lots of available different places to anchor in and we're going to try and tuck up in a corner and get in a different area of where the woo here we go <laughs> where the fetch is not going to catch us but here's kind of what we're looking at here yeah so right now we're right here and the swell's coming in and hitting us dead on so quite a few sailboats have headed up to the bay here but we're actually thinking about going all the way up into here and parking for the night so we're going to take a look but we got to get out of here this is ridiculous <laughs> <This sucks. laughs> let's get that motor started it really is lucky that we were anchored in this bay at Five Islands because there is a lot of protection. It's a nice little, actually it's a nice deep bay. So depending on where the, the wind is coming from, you have a lot of options. We don't have to do a huge trip down the island and get out in open yeah. water on a day like today. So I think, I feel very fortunate that we are here for this blow. Yeah, we can just go from one side to the other. And we're going to get hit with the, the brunt of the storm going to hit about two or three today. So. That should be interesting. A lot of, uh, I think we're supposed to get a ton of rain and a bunch of lightning and stuff. So. Yeah. So let's get that anchor down, lots of chain, and ride it out hopefully a little bit smoother than what we did last night and this morning. Yeah, no kidding. So our GPS is still causing us havoc again. We're not quite sure what's going on. We moved over to the other side of the bay here and it was absolutely fantastic. Now the wind has filled in for the afternoon like it was supposed to. And all of the boats are dragging in here, including us. So I'm thinking that it's sand and clay bottom and we gotta try to re-anchor and get a bit closer and get a big hold because we're gusting at 30 now. This I mean, is so much fun. We don't wanna do this in the middle of the night, so no. we gotta move down. Yeah, so it it's like pouring out now, right now. I don't know, it's hard to say because we keep twisting. 
so it's hard to get a pinpoint of where we are and if we're moving and we can't use our anchor alarm because the GPS isn't working. So anyways, good fun, time to re-anchor, all in a day's work, you know, all that crap. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> I cut it, baby. <laughs> Let's get at it. Hey, Let's get at it. Storm's over. Let's get out of here. It stinks. It's funny we're uh, so far up in the bay here. Look at this after all the rain and runoff. Look at the water here. We had such an awesome time here in Five Islands. It was a great place to ride out the blow once we got to this side and got off the rocky rolliness. Uh, but it's time to make tracks and get into some prettier water because I don't know what happened here, but all that beautiful blue has turned very yucky chocolatey brown. The runoff just totally dirtied up this whole bay. So it's time to make tracks and find somewhere fun and new to go to. If you're enjoying our content, don't forget to like and subscribe or just leave us a comment. We love connecting with you. Catch y'all later.